performance of his career thus far. Making it here, playing a medley of characters to take down EPAD game five. Now has to go against this insane obstacle in Hammerheart. Wow, started already. Sorry about that. Yeah, and as we we're saying, the winner of this will be playing on stage. So this is a huge. Oh, so this is for top four. Oh wow! So losers' quarters. The winner is in top four. I don't think JPX has ever beaten Hammerheart in a serious bracket before. So this is going to be pretty interesting. JPX has been playing very confidently since top 16 has started with the great win over EPAD. Yeah, you know, JPX has the skill. Sometimes he's had difficulties just putting it all together. Um, yeah, I mean, he, sometimes he is... falls apart in these high pressure situations, but everyone knows he's been grinding so hard. Yes, he's he's improved rapidly. The man has said he watches the most improved, right? Watches up to four hours of VODs a day. I know he practices in training mode. I know he plays online sometimes. So this uh, JPX is there's really nothing that he hasn't seen before. Wow, and he catches uh, he catches Hammerheart a little bit uh, over committing there. Yeah, and Hammerheart catching his breath, looking a little little flustered. Yeah, maybe. maybe didn't expect just how difficult this match was yeah, going to be. Yeah, and coming straight off of a loss to Josh Brody, that's really intense. He really didn't take a break at all. And now playing against a Yoshi is just such a different matchup. It is very different. He's going back to Kirby, you know, not playing the Pikachu anymore. And a very different style of matchup too, where he needs to be in control. He can't be so aggressive because Yoshi has so many tools to punish aggression. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But also, once you do have Yoshi on the ropes, it's very easy to keep the pressure on. Especially, That's true. especially with Kirby. Like here we go, we got a little up tilt chain, a little back air into fair. All right, so racked up a good 60% there. Yeah, see, and now he's gonna start taking over. Yeah, J Hammerheart loves these fast fall nares. Oh, he yeah. always times the strong hit of the nair perfectly to send his opponent really far off stage. Yeah. And wow, that nice fast fall wow. easily evades JPX yeah, on the now, respawn. Yeah, at this point, he's putting JPX in a blender, man. Yeah, uh, down, to, down to his last terrifying. stock at 78%, 90%. And uh, it looks like Hammerheart's just constantly going at him. And uh, JPX doesn't really know the right options to keep uh, Hammerheart off of him. And yeah, this is looking rough. 121. No, he got his jump. He does get back to stage. Hammerheart floating around, looking for an opening, catches a weak back air, and then a strong nair. I think that's about it. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think? I don't know whether JPX is going to look to switch characters. What do you think he needs to look for as Yoshi to get through this, this powerful wall? Um, he's going to have to stay on top flat a little bit more and respect Kirby coming down on him with the de those down airs. And he got up tilted way too much. So he's going to have to probably try to keep his second jump a little longer. But yeah, here we go. He switches to Jigglypuff which I think has been his answer for uh, Kirby yep. so far. So here we go. This is going to be a battle of the air here. Yeah, and he made this work against E-Pad. He yeah, beat E-Pad's e Kirby, but of course Hammerheart's Kirby, no, a, totally a totally different, different beast. Totally yeah. different level than E-Pad's Kirby. And E-Pad is a great player, no doubt about it, but Hammerheart is just uh, pushing the meta of what you can do as Kirby, honestly. And I think he deserves that credit. Well, that reverse fair, interesting combo option. JPX, we've seen his puff a few times, but it's definitely not uh, definitely not his main. Although, JPX is kind of known for playing Yoshi, Pika, Falcon, even a little Kirby. I haven't, in uh, Luigi, I haven't seen much of his puff until this tournament, really. He's kind of a 12 character master. You, you can never quite predict he's what he's going to go. He's definitely getting there. Yeah, I would uh, not want a 12 that, character battle this guy, for sure. Yeah, you can't hold shield against Kirby at the edge, man. He's going to push you off and just down air you. Ooh, puff with no jumps. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know about you, Robert, but I feel like this is a matchup of just not overextending. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Oh, he oh, goes for a really weird rest. rest. Interesting that, yeah. That nice even... TI to save him. Oh, wow. no, not enough. Yep, Hammerheart knows exactly what he's doing here. Impressive stuff from Hammerheart so far. Yeah, and he, JPX... he, looked, he looked a little bit like uh, not so composed game one. 
but now it's like he's back into like almost like his flow state and he's looking really confident here. That was a really nice edge guard there from JPX, yeah, just like controlling that. Kirby's just options. Grab. Then finishing it with a grab. Great tech read. Weird uh, miss Z cancel on that down air. Uh, it can be hard. The hit stun is a little weird. Nice little back air. Not many jumps. Well, JPX tries JPX to get tricky with what down. he had, yeah, but not yeah, down yeah, Hammerheart is not falling for it. Such a great tool for Kirby. Especially against uh, uh, Jigglypuff with no jumps. Well, I really like that fair to top platform from JPX. So fast. Calls out Hammerheart just sitting there. And, whoa, nice slow fall mix up to get around the up tilt, but. Hammerheart is just finding so much more off these hits. And that's usually Jigglypuff's role. You know, Jigglypuff's neutral is a little weaker, but thanks to rest, she can punish Kirby really hard. But that's just not yeah, what we've been if, seeing. If Zero you get, rests. If you get the right opening, you can punish Kirby hard, but you really need to get like an up till at the right percent. Um, and Hammerheart knows that. He's not going to give him anything easy here. Yeah. Rolling him out with back airs, trying to stay higher than him. The fair is actually extremely annoying for Jigglypuff. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Does, the, does Jigglypuff Nair not beat the Kirby fair? It's more that the fair can really easily harass your shield, oh. and it's just hard to act out of shield against it. I see. And, and it's there we the go. range and disjoint on the fair. As soon as a single little hit of the fair hits you, oh, it's like you're in yeah. a vortex because yeah. all puss So moves. many quick hitboxes just yeah. coming at you. And the thing is, when the fair ends, Puff doesn't really have any fast moves. Kirby's oh. aerials tend to come out faster. So if those two are just stuck next to each other, yeah. Puff doesn't really have anything to do, oh, whereas yeah. Kirby has much faster moves, so the fair and, can actually be really annoying. Yeah, and also you never really want to be in shield against Kirby, who just yeah. has so many options to keep shield pressure and even break your shield. So and I yeah, wonder... Puff the weird character that uh, dies when your shield gets broken, so... Yeah. But, yeah, instant switch back to Yoshi. I wondered if we'd see the Luigi, but not yeah. going for it this time. I don't think JPX really goes Luigi against uh, Kirby that often, but wow, nice stock, a Nair into uh, a runoff fair. Yeah, in great tech chase in the corner. And he, I really love how he uses that jump away, then fades back on to wait out the strong Ooh. part of Hammerheart's Nair. Nice back air to shield drop back air from Hammerheart there to steal that stock. Perfectly even game. There's that fair and a nice fast fall Nair. Let's see what JPX... Can he find the tech chase? No, slightly slow reaction, and he's wow, going to get punished really hard for this. Air. Wow, what a punish from Hammerheart. Nearly perfect punish from Hammerheart to take a Yoshi stock very quickly there. Yeah, he loses that. Ooh. He just seems like he's missing these tech chases. He's getting such good setups, but he tech chases just a couple frames too slow. And yeah. Hammerheart with this incredibly fast frame four up tilt. Honestly, I'm surprised how many openings JPX is getting. He's finding the openings, yeah, but he's just like but he, one yeah, move he's not away. Finishing. He's just not finishing but, the combo. Yeah, no out. jump. He wow. used the jump to get out of JPX just double jumps out. And Hammerheart and looking down absolutely here. professional. Yeah, quick 3 0 from Hammerheart there. Definitely looking professional. Looked a little shaky the start of game one, but then 100% came back and just showed a flawless 3 0. Yeah. Knocking JPX out of the bracket. Yeah, gets himself back in his element, but we got to say this has been a fantastic tournament for JPX. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think, does that mean he got fifth or seventh or? I'm not sure exactly what place JPX got, but I think he went over his seed. Oh, so, way over yeah, his seed. Yeah, so he can't be uh, too upset about this. Yeah, no, I think he got fifth. Oh, and we got KD3 low happening.